Starnet 9.1 Ultimate has a command line interface that can be used for running projects from a command prompt, batch file or script, scheduled task, or third-party applications. I'm going to go through the basic syntax and a few tips that can be adapted to any scripting or programming language. Keep in mind that the real power of this system lies in the practically unbounded potential to integrate Starnet network adjustments into large, complex workflows. Want to extract survey data from a GIS? run a Starnet adjustment on it and inject the resulting coordinates into a monitoring system, these are the really exciting possibilities that you can now do. The basic syntax is to call the Starnet executable with a project name and an optional slash run parameter. Calling it without the slash run causes Starnet to simply open up the specified project, which in fact is what Windows really does behind the scenes when you double click on a project file. Past versions, this would have simply launched Starnet but it now opens up this specific project. Starnet Ultimate users can also specify the slash run parameter, which tells Starnet to run the specified project without opening it up in the user interface or displaying any interactive prompts. It's a completely unattended process. So if I run this particular batch file, it's first going to run it without the slash run, which opens up the project. I close that. It's going to run it again with the slash run parameter, which actually does a full adjustment but without opening up the Starnet interface. I'm actually sitting here at a pause command, otherwise you wouldn't see anything. Uh, the adjustment will create all of the standard output files but without putting you into the Starnet program. The second example batch file runs through the 10 tutorial files uh, sequentially, uh, it runs them and creates all of the standard output, including the listing uh, points files and so on. If I just run this, you'll see it uh, start to cycle through each of them. And what you'll see happening uh, when it gets to the pre-analysis project, it's actually going to fail uh, because that particular project, you can see right there, uh, that particular project doesn't have any of the uh, network data. It's really meant for uh, running pre-analysis on. So this second part of the batch file just prompts whether you want to open it up. I'm going to say yes. And you can see it launches the pre-analysis tutorial without the slash run parameter. And from here we can run a pre-analysis on it. When an adjustment is run from the command line interface, a status file with a dot run extension is also written out that contains an error code. And this error code can be used to determine whether an adjustment was successful or if any warnings or errors occurred. Let's take a look at uh, here. You can see it just contains a zero, and zero indicates success. This same error code is also returned by the Starnet executable and can be checked more easily than by parsing through the run file. And this is demonstrated in the uh, third example file I have here. Where you can see it runs the adjustment, and then it looks at the return uh, error level code uh, to see if it is greater than or equal to 256. If it is, it'll jump into a, an error processing section. Otherwise, if it's uh, between 1 and 255, it'll uh, jump into this uh, warning processing section. Otherwise, if it's zero, it's a successful adjustment, and it's going to jump into this uh, success handling section. We can run this by double-clicking on my batch file. So we would expect that, uh, that this first tutorial project is going to be successful. You can see, in fact, it is uh, setting an error level of zero. And it's taking us into this success portion. If we change the batch file, let's take out this line and run something that is going to not succeed, for example the pre-analysis project again. Rerun the adjustment. And this time we know it's going to fail, and in fact it actually does fail, and it falls through not into the uh, success section but into this uh, part here where it says the run resulted in an error. 
So you can you can set your scripts up so that different actions will happen depending on what the adjustment did. Maybe if the adjustment was successful, you want to use the resulting coordinates, pass them into a database, or uh, do something with them. Whereas if the adjustment failed, maybe you want it to do something else. This uh, last example that I want to show you is a little bit more uh, complex. Um, it's using a, uh, a pseudo function to approximate uh, what would be a function in standard programming languages. Um, it's going to run through the 10 projects and and uh, log some of the information about it. Uh, so it, it records the start and ending uh, date and time of each of these adjustments into a couple uh, different sample files. So this example shows them being logged into a, just a plain text format. You can see the name of the project, the start and end uh, information. or uh, this one here shows it opening up into uh, a CSV file, uh, which when opened up in Excel, you can see this last column here is actually a formula that calculates the duration uh, by subtracting the, the end time minus the start time. So just a couple uh, little tricks that you can use. But remember, these are very trivial examples, and whether you're running StarNet from a simple script like these or from your own major application, the integration possibilities really are limited only by your imagination and technical expertise.